Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my gigolos and gigolettes. It's me, Geo. You all know who the fuck it is, and I'm joined by Pancake. She's being a little pest right now. Look at her. Pancake, say hi. Hi, everybody. I missed you. That's what Pancake is saying. She's like, I miss all of you. Why are you always trying to bite me? Huh? Always. Come here. All right. So, get more of the dog in the shot. So, if anyone has any money in the market, uh, today was probably a painful day. I'm not going to lie. Uh, this is the worst day of trading I have ever seen. And it's funny because this is in the same week that it was during the best day of trading I've ever seen. So, as you guys can see on my account there, today I was down, today at the end of market, down $1,685, negative 18% of my account. And at one point today, at its lowest, if we go down there, I was down $2,114. Big time loss, right? Pancake, you're so goddamn. I, just, I get so distracted. I just want to play with you. You're so cute. All right. Here, go, go ahead. It's like a scratch your temple. I'll make this video. All right. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And but here's here's the crazy part. Is when I show you that my account took a hit today. Like, do you mind if I put you down, Pancake? I have to talk to my arms. Give me a kiss. Thank you. If you guys look at my options, you can still see where I'm up and where I'm down. Marathon Oil, the call, the 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 option that expires next week on Friday, that one's essentially worthless um, unless Marathon goes back tomorrow, which we don't know. DraftKings is still up. I Am Gold is still up. Under Armour is still up. Uh, that's a pharmaceutical one. That's kind of a medium length one. That one's still down, but that's been down ever since I bought it. Halliburton is still up. DraftKings is up. MGM is still up, not by much. Uh, Exxon Mobil is still up. Cron is up. Aurora Cannabis is down, but that one's been down ever since I bought it. That Marathon Oil uh contract is down pancake stop it no stop it come here yeah go on another one she's got a squeaky toy i'm gonna hold on one second guys no pancake come here yeah <laughs> give me that toy give me that toy you little monster <laughs> sorry i forgot that she had this all right so most Here's the thing. I know, like, this looks bad. Okay? I know that. But, yeah, a lot of you... And there's no squeaky toy in her mouth. Fantastic. Um, but what I want to show you guys is why I'm not super concerned, you little nightmare. Because most of my options are long-term, and I do think whatever slump this is in is going to pancake. Hold on. Give me that. Come here. Apologize again, my fault. Um, most, if you guys see, most of the options I have in my account are still up. Like, so we're going to see what happens tomorrow. Uh, and we're going to see what happens on Monday. Mondays typically are the best trading day for me. So I do at this moment think I am going to – what happened today is making me want to re, re reevaluate some of my options. And a lot of stocks have dipped in value today. For example, I, I didn't see this one coming. 
I didn't see the American Airlines stock climbing as much as it did earlier this week, right? But let's let's go back a month. Let's let's check out the the history of American Airlines for a month. Um, up until the last week of May, they were trading under ten dollars. Then a few days ago, they're up over twenty dollars, and then they hit a low today of fourteen thirty eight. And now they're starting to come back a little bit. But if you see that, they're still up 51% over last month. Um, so, and now I'm thinking to myself, like, I'm not panicking when I see this. I'm thinking, where is the opportunity? You know, where is the where is the the the, the chance to make money off this? Okay. Because now I definitely see opportunity with putting in some long-term options on airlines. And I understand I'm in a position where I actually can do this because I have enough money in my account to purchase long-term options because I've built my account over the last 12 weeks. Hey, babe. How's Walmart? Walmart. Yeah. So... Because if we look at the long, like, I think these options are very attractive right now. Because right now, you can buy the cheapest strike price. And I'm sorry, my computer's taking forever to load. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me now. Wow, this thing is taking forever to load. I think I gotta clean up my laptop. It usually doesn't work this slowly. Come on. Oh, come on, man. There we go. So, I could essentially get the cheapest call price for and it's going to cost me $1,263. Now obviously I don't have that money in my account right now because all my money's tied up in other options but that's how much it would cost me to buy one contract that United Airlines will over the next 18 months will hit a, I mean, it says the break-even price is forty nine sixty three, um, but I'd be making a bet that the United Airlines is going to hit $37 over the next 18 and a half months. And if we look at the history of it, like I said, you can see all this on Robinhood. Then America, United at least. I don't know why my thing is running so slow today. I'm sorry about this, guys. And I'm also, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm very spoiled because a lot of the options that I have in my account um, have been paying me back or have been in the green quickly you know i didn't have to wait a month I, I didn't have to wait a long time for them to start paying me back so i am a little spoiled in that sense but i'm okay with with essentially with gambling you know 1265 bucks to make five or six thousand you know like look look where the price is. the price right now is 3540 all-time low in the last year was 1992 or probably lower over here if I can I guess get it no 1992 was the lowest but before the the coronavirus hit let's go into March before you know in early March it was still between 58 and 60 dollars and at the turn you know around the year the turn of the year going on 2020 uh, going into 2020 
it was over $88. And before that, it was traditionally trading between the 80s and the 90s. So as of right now, I do think this is a pretty safe bet. And I know a lot of you guys are seeing this and you're... You think to yourself, it's not worth it? Yeah, for a lot of you, it's not worth it. You're not going to take that risk. You're not going to take that gamble. That's why trading options is gambling. <laughs> it's a risk. I'm not telling any of you to do it if you don't have the money. If you have built your account to what I have, I would say this is a good opportunity to get an option because it's not going to get any cheaper than it is right now. And if we go to Weeble... That's the airlines. Oh, what the hell? Why is this thing running so goddamn slow? I like Weeble because you could actually see on Weeble they show you the after hours and the pre market better. Especially on the mobile app. On the, I, I like Weeble. Here's the thing: I like Robinhood most of the time. Weeble, I kind of like certain things about it on the on the app more. So as of right now, <laughs> United Airlines is already coming back. So, like I said, I'm going to reevaluate my portfolio on Monday. I might get rid of a bunch of shit and buy one or two United Airlines options. I I don't know. I got to take a closer look at it. I'm fairly certain I, yeah, like I think today was probably the last day of losses I'm going to take this week. I don't see tomorrow being as bad. I hope not. Um, but like I said before, I'm making this video primarily to tell you guys where I am right now, what I might do in a couple days, but why I'm not panicking because I'm still like, I'm still, you guys see green there? That means those are what I'm making money on. All right. Um, and also, I, hopefully, those of you who are watching these videos and you're doing trading yourself, hopefully I'm trying to inspire you all to not panic too. Because panicking leads to irrational thinking. Irrational thinking leads to bad behavior. And if you sell, sell, sell now, you're you know, you're, you're probably going to sell yourself short. Okay. So that's all I got for this one. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys, uh, I'll keep you updated. So everyone, please stay safe, stay driven, stay healthy, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.